Hi guys, today in this video I'm going to be upgrading the battery in my car to a Bosch enhanced flooded lead acid battery. Basically this is a step up from your regular sealed maintenance free acid batteries. Bosch needs no introduction in terms of batteries but I'm going to be doing a couple of tests before I install this battery. I'll read the manufacture date of the battery, run an analysis on the state of health as well as the state of charge of the battery, interpret our results depending on the state of health of the battery or the state of charge, charge this battery up repeat the analysis before putting it in the vehicle now let's crack this this is the Bosch S4E07 with 650 cold cranking amps EN is the equivalent of batteries made out of Europe It's 65 amps and it's an enhanced flooded battery Benefits of enhanced flooded batteries include improved charge acceptance takes a lesser time to charge and because of this it's specially suited for vehicles that have the stop start technology these cars shut down for example when you are at a red light and start again when you are about to move these batteries are typically resistant to sulfation even in low charge states it has improved tolerance in hot working conditions in tropical regions of the world where the temperature would go up these batteries would do better than your conventional flooded batteries it also does better when it comes to deep discharges conventional batteries once they are deeply discharged lose some portion of its health to that discharge event it's also able to deliver improved starting power even in low charge states and finally it has a longer shelf life because of all these improvements before i start the test so this is the battery that came with the car made by napa and this battery is totally dead 0.36 volts i just quickly cut this open it also comes with some documentation here which i'm just going to take out essentially covers in several languages and um, safety instructions so as you may know batteries are perishable products and one of the first things you want to do when buying a battery is to check out the production date so on bosch batteries you'd find that through this code that is stamped on the battery around this top right corner the fourth fifth and sixth digits 038 you would take this number and then get the reference dates from the bosch chart so according to that you would see that this battery was made in february of 2020 i didn't get this in person i ordered it online that's one of the reasons why i actually want to do a battery test since it's over 12 months this battery was produced let me first start with the voltage that the battery is at 12.12 that's not fully charged should be at least 12.6 then let's analyze the state of health of the battery i figure with it being on the shelf for over for over 12 months that's expected so this is reading it at 12.17 let's check it's out of the vehicle um, so it's an enhanced flooded battery so this is en the rating is in en and it is 650 enter so in summary it says good but recharge diving into details soh or state of health a measure of the general condition of the battery and its ability to deliver its rated performance it starts at 100 percent at the time of manufacture and decreases over time as you can see it's lost about nine percent of its health just from sitting on the shelf instead of delivering the rated 650 amps it's only able to deliver 91 percent of this which translates to 595 amps state of charge is really low at 28 percent from the chart on the screen from aa1car.com you can see that a discharge battery has a voltage of 11.9 volts and at 25 percent charge a battery would have about 12.06 volts one other important observation is that this battery has been able to deliver 91 percent of its cold cranking amps despite a state of charge of just 28 percent this really boils down to this battery being an enhanced flooded battery this would have been highly unlikely in a conventional battery and the tester would have just said charge and retest note that state of charge will vary by battery type as well as by ambient temperature so this is a battery that has sat for quite some time at a partial or low state of charge vehicle systems are not designed to charge batteries that are discharged and actually the safety manual that came with this battery recommends charging a battery with less than 12.5 volts before fitting it into a car I'm going to hook this up to my battery charger bring it up to full charge I also repeat the test at that time before I fit it into the vehicle it's a Foxshaw 
let me know if you want me to review this product but it's a seven stage battery charger and it incorporates desulfation as part of the charging so i'll just go to repair so i'll come back when this gets full so this is now full and i'll go ahead to remove this i had to switch to regular charging at some point but yeah battery is full head back to the car and repeat the test so we're now at 12.96 check out of vehicle it has flooded battery en yep so as you can see the state of health has improved actually to 97 percent which is good state of charge has improved up to 98 percent and it's saying is a good battery at this stage i'm comfortable to put this into the car in summary i think the key takeaways from this video are get the freshest battery possible it's not enough to just buy a new battery testing and charging it when necessary before fitting it into the car is essential certain battery types are better built to last longer although they may be pricier if you've had many mishaps with other battery types and you can afford it you could explore one of these from the service record of my car before purchase the previous owner had replaced a couple batteries in a short space of time i'll document my journey with the bosch and see what what comes lastly even if you stay with regular wet cell batteries preventive maintenance can get more out of your battery let me know what you think in the comments like share subscribe if you've loved this this is me signing out and catch you on the next one cheers